footy isn't back. But I'll tell you what, frothing over footy is. That's right. I'm James Clemens, not to be confused with Nick Hind. Oh, poor one out for Nick Hind. <laughs> uh, this is the AFL Today Show, and joining me for this trade madness show, and there is a lot of madness going on. Not many trades, but that's kind of the fun part. Uh, my two best friends in the world, local weirdos, full blown footy nuffs, they're basically glued to Twitter. I saw a stats boy following Cal Toomey around just on the streets of Melbourne. It was weird. Yeah. Leave him alone, stats boy. Over there, it's Alex Donnelly. Yeah, good day. At least we're not the dodgy mates that Nick Hind apparently has. So the uh, Integrity yeah. Commission hasn't gone. I'm working on it. I can yeah. see you've been, mate. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm, I, I aspire to be someone's dodgy mate. Yeah. Like, I am, like, already. I thought you I'm, are. I am a lot of people's dodgy mate, where, but it's not so much the dodgy mate. It's like the missus is like, don't bring James back. <laughs> <laughs> don't invite him. And I'm like, oh, come on, I'm fun. <laughs> Uh, in the middle is a little fella, Stats Boy. Let's go. Uh, North are actually a bit of chatter around North in the trade period, so I'm very excited. You, you got Jack Dowling. How do you feel? Well, not yeah, not excited about that yet. Hopefully some bigger ones. I can't wait. Come. North is going to improve from three wins to three wins. It's going to be incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we're going to get that four wins next year. Four. <laughs> anyway, before we dig into this massive, massive, massive midweek trade madness show, uh, we're going to be talking news ticker, yeah, Nas, which is going to be all the deals that are done so far. We'll kick the tires Jeez, that on. that won't take long. Well, there's not many, but that's fine. Like that's we already we already signposted this last week. There's enough. Yeah. There's still it a all fair few. hits at the end. Yes, and it's just chaos. Which we can do anyway. a live stream for and be really good. But we will go through all the mooted things as well. Kick the tires on it. We're basically just talking off season guff, yep. which is fun because you just get to geek out and go, oh, geez, imagine it with this team, bro. And we'll come <laughs> up with the five players we want to see traded. Stats Boy took this a little bit too literally. He's like, oh, Jesus. Well, I the rest of the show is very literal <coughs> towards I trades. Think, I think Dan Houston should be traded, Jim. And I'm like, That's shut not, up, idiot. That is not Bye. what I said. Slap some sense in and we came up with some interesting it. names. So. Yeah. The thing is, get around the YouTube channel, get around the social channels, stay clear and just on the path for all this AFL Today stuff because we are coming up with great stuff like the all 18 mega trade. We're, That's wild, yeah. We're ahead of the curve here. Yeah. yeah. We got. I think that, sh that should be a thing that should happen every year, like in the actual AFL. You have to, every team has to trade with each other at least once, and it's all together. That'd be that'd be awesome. Well, you're already more innovative than Andrew Gill and Dylan. Yeah, yeah that's all true. Right. Let's get into it. News ticker. Midweek news. Uh, before we do all the trade stuff, that's obviously all the news. But there is other stuff. Yes, Joey Duckett's my beloved Joey Duckett's no longer cutting up a rug in my beloved John Curtin Hotel, nor cutting up a rug for the Brisbane Lions because he retired. 204 games. 204 games, 395 goals, a premiership, all Australian, six-time uh, club-leading goal scorer, Crichton medal, which is the Essendon BNF, Anzac medal, mark of the year, awesome career. Great mark. And just like a lot of out in the fours, a lot of sideways kicks, huge marks, just so, all Joe. We love it. We so love I hate it. this. I'm annoyed that he's retired. Because no more it. Joe. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I love that he's went, out on well, high. what yeah. are we doing? Oh, he's won the thing. Peace. So, yeah. yeah. Well, that's awesome. And that's he was going to do it last year if yeah. they won. Why yeah. you want to do it? That's awesome. Like you've, you've made some money. You got a bit of that walking around. We cash. won't hear from him ever again. You're we will him, never see him again. You're living in Byron. You're living <laughs> yeah. your best life. It's going to be sick. Like it'll be in ten years when they do the 2024 reunion at but, the Gabba. It's ah, it's oh, Joe. Guy, I hey. seen ages. But the AFL lacks for characters. Yeah, that's true. It's one of my bugbears. But that's like. We have so many interesting folks out there. And like the AFL is such an interesting cross section of society. Joey Duckett is just one of one, yep. which I'm all about. Give me more one of ones. Hawks are uh, helping us a little bit with some of the young guys. Are they though? Yes. So I don't know if they're one of ones. I feel oh, like you it's think just, there's a few you're similar just, ones. You're just a Gen Z dork. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you got like a camera. It. That's not personality. That's just uh, being a, like a nerd who's got a camera. The Wiz so, is personality. Oh, the Wiz, he's, he's a haircut. He's 19 years old. He's a haircut and he's on TikTok. Who cares? <laughs> but anyway, Joey Duckett's is like an actual unique personality in person. Like, and he I, doesn't own a TV, lived in Byron Bay, yeah, stayed, stayed in a hotel two nights a week. Legitimately weird. It just a just weird, weird yeah. unit. I love but weird more units. weird, guys. And AFL is built on the like, back of weird units. All the 80s was weird units. Yeah. yeah. You know, like Dane like, Rampey's a weird unit, but we know nothing about Dane Rampey. And Dan like, Rampey, I think that's why. he's not a superstar, though. Like yeah. Joe, Joe Duckett's super duper star. Like, just one of those high-profile guys, a famous last name, comes from a hugely famous footy family, yep. so that sort of sucks. But anyway, well done, Joe. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss Joe. Yeah. Levi Casbolt, he retired as well. <laughs> they I dropped down a, a, so a legend uh, status there. Yeah, the yeah. retiring uh, just went bang, boom. Yeah. Uh, 
Carlton cool. legend, though, Levi Casbolt. He had a few good years. 198 games, 215 goals, which is solid. Always in Gold Coast. Tripped up by injuries time and time again. And then also got tripped up by something else. Losing a ball is what you're trying to say. No, right? no, no. There was another one. Oh, well, he wasn't was allowed one? to play footy because he was an anti-vax. Oh, that's oh, yeah, yeah, that was dumb. And also, married he's... to a girl I went to school with. Oh, there you go. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, kick, kicking accuracy as well oh, didn't help his career. He like, was the best. He was an amazing mark. Everyone's like, oh, maybe we should just play him at centre half back. And you're like, oh, he's not mobile for centre half back. But his his marking ability was nuts. He could clunk a mark like he was wearing like the old Travis cloak glove. It sometimes it felt like. But then he's kicking ac- his his yeah drop ball drop was just double was cobra. Like, Double, Double Cobra. Double Cobra he brought out. Double yeah, Cobra. Yeah, he did, he did. Nice. Uh, Paul, what happened for Levi? Max King. Here we go. signed until 2032. Now, 2032. What, have I, what have I said about things in the 2030s? I don't want to hear about <laughs> I want nothing to do it with makes the 2030s. You feel older, but it's also, <laughs> he was. You know how old I'll be in the 2030s? He, I don't want to think about that. He wasn't out <laughs> of contract. Right. Yeah. No, cool. no, and he wasn't even good. How many goals did he get? Wasn't kick? even good. He wasn't even good. 19 goals this year, 12 games. Couldn't even get out in the park. Could, when he was, on, was out in the park, did they think they signed Ben? Just uh, just put him out there. Like They're like, oh, I, I think like we've it. got yeah. the good king. Let's Ross, just sign him. Ross has had a few too many sides yeah. <laughs> in the sunshine. Sinus. He's like, Jewish. That's called straight to me head. Which one do we sign? Max. Oh, oh yeah, no. that's right. <laughs> sure. Ben? No, I don't know which one we've got. Just re-sign him. That's uh, crazy. For a fine. guy that's getting injured a lot. Yeah, I would... Uh, this I am happy they're risky. keeping him because you, yeah, you can still have a good career, you but still, that's a long time. You could have seen him how he went next year. Oh, he yeah. played 15. All right, it's round 15. You've kicked 50 goals. All right, here's a new contract. Exactly. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. The 50 goals is a lot. I don't think he's going to keep that. But, you know. Who would you rather, Max King or the J Train, who yes. just re-signed with the Eagles till 2029? Give me the J Train at this J point. J Train, yeah. It's a Again, bit more agile. Wasn't out of contract either. Like, weird. He's getting a million bucks a year. No, but it's the same as one the, good year. Isn't it to do with the salary cap still? Yeah. 100%. Salary so cap's gone going. up. It's like, yeah. Speaking with the uh, sticking with the Eagles, John Wusha, Wursch, Wurschfeld. <laughs> Wusha yeah. Wurschfeld. Uh, he's gone back to the Eagles as head of football after a couple of years yeah. after betting, kicked to the curb by the bomb ray. I think uh, that's a great, great appointment back at the, uh, I think the culture fine. back. He won, a, two what, flags. He won, the, he won the flag yep. as their coach in 2006. 2005, 2006 grand finals. Yeah, He's a legend of the one club. Won as a captain twice. Yep. What was that, 92 and 94? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, he'll, he'll help out McWalter just uh, as, he's a, good as coach, a sounding board like, as well. Experienced. I don't, I don't mind I that. love that he went to just like, he was like the head of HR, like GM, like HR and people for like some random company. Was yeah. he? Sure. That's it's like, weird. you want to come back to footy and chill out in Perth? Yes. 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 How much did you say? <laughs> Ching. Yeah. Uh, so good job, Eagles. There's, actually, the Eagles are sort of just doing this big sort of house cleaning as well, right? Mm, so yeah, which they need to do. McWalter is a coach. They've got new like senior management, new staff. All this sort of yeah, stuff. I think that's good. New fitness people. So they've just gone absolute hammer and songs. Uh, outside of that, Graham Wright. Speaking with you know, mm. sticking with a few more appointments, I guess, in the upper echelon of. Uh, football club, footy clubs, footy clubs. What are you trying to say? (laughs) (laughs) It's in the upper echelon of like your football clubs, right? So your executive teams, et cetera. Graham Wright to Carlton in in a succession plan with Brian Cook. So a 12 month sort of like learn the From the Pies, wasn't it? From the Pies. He took a leave of, he He took a sabbatical this year. He hung out in Europe this year. Which is smart. Fair. Uh, People love this. It's like, oh, geez, just, I'm just like, yeah, cool. If he's smart, get smart people in. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. I got Got nothing against it. It's good. Yeah. good I don't know anything about it. Happy days. Good on him. Uh, they're, 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 like, they're basically, oh, you know, he was the architect of the Hawthorne years and then in Collingwood as well. Oh. Like, right. <coughs> good. How about you architect some help for Paddy Cripps? Um, <laughs> and outside of this, last little bits and bobs, uh, Matt Lloyd called Jack Stringer untrustworthy. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think even Jake Stringer would call himself that probably. H- Harold Sunshirat. ex-bomber doesn't lie about current <laughs> bomber. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I see no lie. Yeah. It's like, sure. <laughs> Everyone agrees with that one. We'll get to Stringer in a minute. Uh, and then finally, Robbo's Herald Sun Top 50, the post-season Top 50. Yep. Uh, well, Alex and I were debating this uh, so Cripps, yesterday. So Cripps, Dacos, Heaney, Bont, Jesse Hogan. It's for the, yeah, it's, but it's for what they've done in the season. He's the common medalist. I don't mind by that. I don't mind that. Neil is very stiff at number six. Nah, it feels right. But there's a few other ones that are a bit more You know what I'd that. rather do? And I'll do it during the uh, like in the preseason. It'll be Jim's Top 50. <laughs> But we'll make it top 100, and we're just going to go hammer Top 100. Off. And what will it be? You know, I'm just going to go straight down the line. Where was would you, Jim for six days? Would you trade <laughs> this one dude for this dude? And we're going to go through to 100. Yeah. <laughs> just, that's John, what we do. Uh, Matt Rowell in the top 30 felt wrong. Dan yeah, Brozio at 44 was silly. Dan he Brozio didn't even make 44. top 10 in his own best and fairest. Yeah. And then Kerno, Charlie Kerno below Dan Brozio at 45 as a joke. I mean, I he didn't 
have the best of you. No, but Charlie. he's a, still getting he had a better player. Yeah, yeah moment. exactly. What are we doing here? That was a bit of a joke. Uh, Raul in the top 30 is a bit of a reach. Newcom 11 is also a bit yeah. of an eye opener. Uh, but anyway, speaking of which, club best and fairest are all, we've basically gotten to the end of all of them finally. Carlton yep. were very optimistic, I think, about when they hosted theirs. Yeah, it's right. Like, it's like, oh, yeah, no. Nah, the I mean, week after the grand final. Grand final yeah. do, you reckon they, do you reckon they book, book in the date and like the palladium in like June and be like, to be fair, yeah, we're second. Yeah, this is right, boys. All right, at least Carlton are in the finals. You've got uh, Adelaide did the same thing. They yeah. were a week after the game. Come on, Yeah, Adelaide. but it's also more like, oh, you boys get time to go overseas for a month and then come back. Yeah, yeah. true. It's not bad. So as it stands, uh, the club by club best and fairest. I've written them down here. I know. Oh, it's, he can read. I thought, no, I thought I he was going to find them. I can go. use my brains there. There we go. Me. I don't know if you can. <laughs> Radelaide, Ben Keyes and Jordan Dyson tied on 107 of the votes. That's crazy that Ben Keyes has gotten up there. But Good for him. Good I thought him. it was great. Yeah. I saw I'm the Keyes thing, that. I'm like, that's rad. Good yeah. on him. He's getting some recognition. And there. Dawson wasn't great throughout the year, and Keyes won a few games off his boots. So. I think the fascinating thing for me is though that Saligo and Michelini were in the top four as well. I mean, okay. that's awesome because at the same time, you're like, all right. Can I have an early bet on Thriller winning next year? That checks out. Or is it Scholl sneaking in the top 10? Uh, Rochelle and Rankin in seven and eight as well. Uh, Brisbane, lucky Neil ran that one just over the top of Zorko and Dunkley, 73, yep. 72, and 71. Uh, Carlton, Cripps smashed Nick Newman. Nick Newman's second is crazy, but I love it, it probably though. puts it into the perspective that he's a bit underrated, I think. 100%. Yeah, because we don't yeah. talk about it. But he shouldn't be second in your best and fairest. I don't know about that. Sam Walsh, 147, should be second. Wieters probably, yeah. probably should be second. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Charlie Kerno should be second. Uh, Matt <laughs> Kennedy, who's been told to find a new gig. Landed 10. <laughs> anyway, oh, that's, we'll talk about I hope him that's a second. contract trigger. Top 10 and a B now if you get extra yeah, 20 grand. Like maybe. Collingwood, Dacos runs away with it. 997 to Darcy Cameron's 859 and ahead of his brother. I Josh love Dacos. how different clubs have the weirdest counts yeah. ever. Yeah, well, Josh is what? So both Dacos, all uh, three Dacos have won a Best and Ferris now, which is okay. pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. But I love you. You're going from 75 yeah, votes like at Brisbane and to 1,000 at Collingwood. Yeah. <laughs> a thousand. Thousand. Well, he's all got like 980. Like the Swans, we the Swans. Have all the votes here. Yeah. Yeah. The awesome. Swans is like stupidly That's high like as well. That's like my club one that used to do that. Like everyone would be a vote. So you'd be like 22 to 1. And the person getting one's like, Oh, but you get, you get a vote. <laughs> That's so funny. That's actually yeah, that, pretty good. That's yeah. just dumb. I I want, no, I, I'm on board with that. <laughs> Essendon, Zach Merritt, 212 over Nick Martin, Sam Durham, cool. Frio, Caleb Sarong, Sarong. Yeah. Above Andy Bradshaw and Hayden Young, we could have picked that a None of these way. are surprising. Nah, nah, nah. Maxi Holmes, though, ahead of Zach Guthrie and Jezza. Makes Zach sense. Zach Guthrie was second. Yeah, Zach Guthrie's yeah. good, great man. Year, yeah. He was yeah. really good, actually, down the stretch. Uh, Gold Coast, Sam Collins won this. Like, That's that, probably the shock. That was pretty weird. Bo ahead of Bodie Uland. And stupid, sexy Flanders. Love like, that. King didn't even get the top 10. No, Anderson got yeah. fifth. Mac Andrews, sixth. Yeah. Jeez, and he's got all the money in the world. GWS, Jesse Hogan at 67 ahead of Tom Green and Lockie Whitfield. I yeah, like that. Tied for second. A bit of a third. Some forward recognition. Yeah. Fourth on Giant Newcomb ahead of Dylan Moore in Germany. B. Yep. Warple finished fourth. Interesting. Cool. Uh, Melbourne, Australia. Jack Viney, 407. Maximus Gornicus, Aurelius. Uh, 405, just ahead of Neil, Alex Neil Bullen. Who's Jack Viney winning it in Adelaide. when he's sort of a bit older now. is a bit of a worry. Yep, right? LDU yeah. wins north ahead of Cherry and She's. Oh, She's, I think, had a better year, but they love LDU. You Hort. don't do the votes. Butters ahead of JHF. Yeah, so I'll get another sandwich? No. <laughs> I already bought Double your enough. sandwich. You did, you did. Richmond, Dan Rioli, Nick <laughs> Vlosten, Nank. I'm just trying to, I'm like looking at this That is a really top, their, bad top Out of their top five. ten, it's like they're, like six of those dudes are gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. St. Kilda, Callum Wilkie, yeah. ahead of Jack Sinclair and Josh Battle. Amazing. Where's, no, Marshall top Marshall three. fourth. One ah. good thing about Richmond, they don't have to delist anyone. I was talking to my mate. They're like, yeah, we don't have to. Like all the so, older So if you're one of those yeah. young dudes yeah, that struggles in the game, you're like, you're like oh, got a job, boys. Everyone's leaving, so they don't have to <laughs> worry about it. summer ahead. Yeah. <laughs> It's like teens. They <laughs> cut me. Yeah, uh, they cut. Sydney, Isaac Heaney, he yeah. man. Yeah. Dun, dun, well da, 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 yeah. Whoa, the top three. Where Roll and Chad Johnley Warner. Cheeks uh, was in the top 10. Our good mate James Robottom in sixth. Uh, West Coast, Jeremy McGovern ahead of. Yo. His first ever. Um, Best and Ferris, okay. oh, which surprised me because he's been a superstar. And J Train. We need to get J Train on the show. I love J Train. Yeah. Uh, and the Western Bulldogs, Bonds ahead of Trelaw and Bailey Dale, who tied for second. Cool. Sure. All done. Nice. That's just a bit of house cleaning. Yep. That's just nice. Nice. You are now a club champion. What I do not like is when they call you a champion if you've not won a title. Yep. So, well, yeah. You're champion without champion. the club. Yep, I like You're that. You're a club champion. Like you are not a champion of the AFL. No. Patrick Cripps has won two Brownlows. Still not a champion. He's a, he's a, a, he's a legend. A legend, superstar. So, Lockie Neal, champion. Yeah. Lockie Neal, champion. He's a champion. Logan yeah. Morris. 
Champion. <laughs> Will Ashcroft. Yeah, Champion. Will Ashcroft. Uh, midweek winner, loser of the week. This is a really simple one for me this week. I just want to say footy fans because this is just absolute gorgeous self on like There's so Twitter, much happening, yeah. News. Mm-hmm. You're in the comments. You're on the forums. You're going hammer and tongs. You can go as deep or as shallow as you want into the trade period. You yep. can go skating across the top. And just sort of get the, uh, what's going on? Because not much is going on. And not I yet. forewarned yeah. you about this. Yes. Give me like more of an NBA style, throw everything out there. You can trade all your picks up into, well, what, seven years into the future. Oh, what? But, seven years. But you can't trade back-to-back picks. So you, so you can't. I can't give you twenty four and twenty five first. Okay. Right. But I can give you twenty four and twenty six. That protects you. I can give you twenty four and twenty six. You know, if we're going seven years though, twenty thirty one scares find, you, right? This is you got we, we're going to dig into <laughs> yeah. this trade period stuff in one second. But that's kind of my biggest bugbear, like these weird kid glove rubbish. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to bring in from next year the two years. Exactly, but that's not enough. Two years. It's like who cares? Why are you protecting clubs from themselves? We're all grown-ups. If Collingwood want to go out and go, ah, oh, we'll give Port Adelaide our 2031st as part of the Dan Houston deal, who's to stop them? They're all yep. grown-ups. Like, why are we protecting clubs from themselves? Can you explain that to me? No, I think you make a fair, fairly you. good point there, Jim. I am so sick of the AFL being run like a weird backwater club league. We are and we're very going behind, yes. we're very immature as a league. Tiptoeing towards like mm. actual free market expression of what these players want. And do again the same with these eight year contracts like Max King signed to like 2052. What are we doing? That's stupid. We're going to put a limit on this. It's oh, but he's safe and secure. That's great. In three years' time, when he's stinking it up, ask some Kilda fans how they feel about basically being protected from themselves. We should have a cap on player. Same thing happens well. in the it's EPL ridiculous. though. Like players that like your club, Chelsea, have signed blokes to nine year contracts. It money's is not, wild, but yeah. money's also no object when it comes to the EPL stuff for yeah. the most part, right? Especially the top four. Well, they've got, finan- saying, they've got yeah. financial fair play rules, so they exactly. can't overspend their limits. But like, there's a guy right now that if he some just breaks down, is like, ah, I can't be stuffed. He's still there for the next nine, nine years on year, 150 yeah. grand a week. It's a backwards. It's very backwards. Yeah, it's phenomenal if you're that dude. If you're that guy, but not for the club. Anyway, speaking of which, let's do it. These are some yeah, nah. Or at least we're going to go through all of the deals, all of the free agency and the trades that are being mooted at the moment uh, yep. with a bit of a yeah, nah. Like, right. I, I, is it good? Is it bad? How are we doing? The actual free agency moves that have happened, Josh Battle, off to Hawthorne. Saints get pick eight in compensation. Again. What the hell is that? I hate compensation. It shouldn't be a thing. Free market. Just have at it. Yeah. Compensation. Oh, we developed him. It's like, did ya? If he wanted to stay around, he'd stay. Also, this is conversation. I, I'm a North fan, and uh, I at the time was saying North shouldn't even get all those picks, which I'm very, I'm okay with. Obviously, being a North fan, but shouldn't have got any picks. Conversation needs to go out the window. If your club's going bad, or they haven't traded well, or they're getting rid of a player that they really like, that's their it. fault. That's their fault. It shouldn't be this a conversation. Kid, it's pick. this kid glove stuff again. Oh, I hate you, it. It's in stupid. terms of the actual trade, I'd say yeah for Hawthorne. I, I don't mind that. Both teams have won. Killer are cheering. They've got yeah, pick A. Exactly. Like, they're they're just awesome. like, this is unreal. Like, but yeah. for Josh Battle, that's insane. Free agency. Uh, yeah. He does help Hawthorne. Yes. 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 Yep. He's a solid player. I wouldn't put him in like a superstar, but solid it's just player. like depth. Like, yeah. It's great. You Good one that. on one, especially down back. Uh, Harry Perriman goes to Collingwood, and the Giants receive pick fifteen in compensation. Giants are high fiving. Collingwood are happy as they get a midfield up. They don't, yeah, they don't need Perriman at all, Giants, and then they've gotten pick fifteen. So, but both, again. I think both teams again are happy. Isaac coming, not going. He's going to Adelaide. Cool. Yeah, nah. Uh, yeah, it's good. Yep. Still doesn't know what – even he's like, oh, I'm a wing halfback. No, nah, he's so a halfback. He doesn't even real, know what his position is. I think he's a really good player, so that's a massive pickup. Yeah. Uh, Elliot Himmelberg goes to Gold Coast. Just goes to show if you're tall, you don't have to be talented. <laughs> I know. How – this – Good. He's okay. actually going to get really sunburnt because <laughs> yeah, he yeah. is a uh, – of, of, of him point. and his brother Harry, he is a fair-skinned lad. I'm going to go, no, nah, this is just a boring – trade because he's not good. good. Yeah. Sunscreen exists. Yeah, but he, yeah. but at the same time, you know Jim what I'd love? Jim goes to Gold Coast all the time. Yeah. I would love to see an AFL ginger playing a hat. <laughs> Dale Lewis <laughs> did it for the Swans exactly. one day. I'm like, okay, let's uh, go. What let's about a Legionnaire's cup? Yeah, Legionnaire's cup. <laughs> just like running around. You look like Nick Blakey anyway. Like, yeah. That's awesome. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, they're looking like Luke Travers from the NBA. Uh, <laughs> Tom Campbell goes to Melbourne because they're like, we don't have any Ruckman. Yeah. The like, biggest yeah. journeyman. He plays two games a year, Tom Campbell. Must be a great hang. 
I know he's he's okay, but no, no, no. But must just be a great dude. Yeah, because there's like you've got to keep some people around as just good, genuine he's dudes. He's not in the good club. anymore, but I guess he's a. Backup. I'm not talking about his talents, <laughs> that guy. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He also he looks like a ruckman. Yeah, yeah. He's a big gum. <laughs> he's just got that face. And he's like, you're a ruckman. Yes, yes <laughs> he you looked, are. Like, when he was five, you're like, yeah, that kid's a ruckman. <laughs> the same they're all the same as... height, but it's like just something about this one. He's a ruckman. Same vibe as the big O, just the big gum. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Put them in the same room and it's just like Gumby vibes. Uh, which one's pokey? No one knows. Nick Haynes goes to Carlton. I mean, this is just a depth move. I don't mind it that. It was yeah. weird that they were so fixated on, him, fixated on him, but at the same time, it's like, sure. He was and available. It now makes it 18 players that have gone from GWS yeah. to Carlton, so you've got a full, a full team. team. Full team. Yes. Jack Graham goes to West Coast and the Tigers get round two compensation, which yeah, could sure. be 42 at 42 the moment. is being mooted. Which is it fine. Is 42. I've said mooted a lot. Yeah, yeah. I think that's fine. I'm Tigers. I saw Tigers fans complain because, oh, the other team's got 15, the other team's got eight. You weren't even, Jack Graham was so oh, in and so out of the side. Richmond so are asking fun. for pick six for Dan Rioli. Shut up. We'll yeah. get to that. A and B, Alex Neil Bullen going off to Adelaide, traded for pick 28. That's fair. I think I'll say, that yeah, that's a Feels that's a, a little bit unders for the Ds, but he was going anyway, so he sure. Wanted, he wanted out. They get pick 28. I think that's fair. It's fine. He's, yeah. I think he's handy for Adelaide, but I think they've got bigger problems. So, so. The, the the pick that Alex Neal has been traded for is going to be what I'm going to say are overs and unders for a lot of players that want to move at the moment. That yeah, seems fair. Jack yeah. Darling traded to North for pick 67. Yep. Even though I didn't really want him, pick 67, that's fine. Who cares? It's yep. just a low uh, pick. What was yeah. it, Kane Corns? 40, okay, yeah. 40 goals. Yeah, every goal he kicks uh, over, he'll run three laps of the 10 or the other park load. Yep. And that's because Darling himself said he's going to kick 40, 50 goals. If he kicks 40, 50 goals, I'll be playing. If he, he's not what kicking, are you going to do if he kicks 40 uh, goals? He's going to uh, kick him 40, no, 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 50 no. times. If he kicks 40... I'll run the 10 with... Uh, no, you won't. I like running the 10. Yeah, chase him. Yes, that'd be funny. 41 goals... Shave your head. Or you run a kilometre for every goal he kicks next year. Wait a year. minute. You have to chase Kane Corns. To be fair, if he kicks 40, 50 goals, I'll do Kane anything. Kane Corns will be, be dressed up as Jack Darling. you got to dress up as Kane Corns. <laughs> and run the 10. And run the 10 behind him. I was going to say you should run a marathon I'll if put he kicks a, I'll put a Kane goals. Corns blonde wig on and run the 10. All right, that's what's happened. Should AFL clubs receive compensation picks? Yeah, nah. Nah. I'm firmly Big in the nah. nah camp. I think it's just weird, weird behaviour from a weird league that are we the only league that does something like this? There's sort of stuff NBA like does this. a little bit. I NBA guess. doesn't really. Like, not for Did trade, they used to? No. For like players or anything like EPL that? EPL and they're out of contract. See ya. Yeah. I it's think just, we need to be more brutal as a league. And, and that's just, that's this, with like players getting power. And I like, compensation. I completely agree. And I'm like a romantic when it comes to the footy, right? Yeah, I'm of like, course. I love it when players stick with their teams for a million mm. years because it's like, it's what breeds loyalty and like fans and Our especially sport you know, is better at that than I've got sports. kids like yeah. kids love just going that's my guy I love that For dude five or ten and years, then yeah. if they go to some other team they're just confused and weirded out <laughs> it's not great yeah. but at the same time like you look at someone like and we'll get to him here right now like may as well Clayton Oliver yep like if you're a young D's fan and I've got some D's mates who have got kids same kids, age yep. as me yep. and they love Truck they love Gorn they love Clary You'd be looking at this going, well, but why? It's like, well, <laughs> you see, they have some problems behind closed doors. And Clayton Oliver <laughs> kids is a lunatic. <laughs> and, like, and what do we say to lunatics, kid? Jog on, idiot. And like, so, I don't know, does Clary get traded? That's my big question here. I reckon, it sound like I reckon it'll happen. Now, this is where it's landed after a big week. This, this time last week when we did our last sort of wrap-up show, well, we asked this exact same question. It looked like it was on the cards. But now it looks like it's not. Yeah. He'd been and hung out uh, at Reece Stanley's farm. Yeah. And it's like it's on. It's, and then we saw Reece Stanley the day after yeah. with Zach Tui. And you're like, And hey. Tom Atkins. And Tom Atkins hanging yeah. out. It was like, all right, that's weird. Where's Clary? He's not here. He's not going to no, Melbourne. Yeah, He's the, not going to Geelong. Uh, what do you call it? The head of... Uh, Andrew Mackey. Andrew Mackey, that's what I was thinking. Not if he's running at all. He said they're not going after him anymore. Oh, yeah, because you're probably going to say, yeah, we no, won. I, I Melbourne, think he would. I think that Melbourne most did of the- Brad Greens at the BNF yeah. said, no, nah, he's, he's going to be here next year. And we can all trust what, I don't know, head honchos <laughs> at every, yeah, especially exactly. in Melbourne. Especially when head honchos so. say they've got the full support of the board. Well, I we think absolutely trust I them. think because this snowballed so late into the season that it's not going to happen. But then as we mentioned, like, Traka, Viney, Oliver, Pickett, ne- this time next year, going to blow up because it's I think there'll be a build. bigger build up and it could actually happen. Yeah, this is all just rushed. I'm, so, a, I'm a chaos theory guy. <laughs> yeah, I want to believe. This is the Clary vibe. I think something just happens last second and it's but in the comments. No one, no one really wants him other than Geelong because Geelong's like, oh, we can fix head cases. A lot of other clubs really wouldn't want that open space in Korea. Get in the comments. Does Clary leave? Where does he go? Ooh. All right. Does Dan Houston actually land back in Victoria? Yes. Yeah, nah. Yes. 
I'm leaning towards nah. They're all all the there's, teams are arguing at the moment. The um, you've got a week. That's the Port fine. aren't happy with a lot of the trades. So where does this stand right now? You've I'm going to say Carlton nah. and Collingwood as well as North. Yep, North over right there. Hi guys. I Hi. don't think he wants me, to go to North. But we are still offering the best the best thing apparently. The thing is. Gold Coast pick number 13 is what both Carlton and Collingwood are trying to pry from Gold Coast. Yes. So like Carlton are basically trying to give up uh, a future first and yeah. a future second, which mm-hmm. is for next year. And you're like, okay, cool. And Collingwood are like, how about this year's first and like another one? And it's like all this sort they of They don't have their in. first this year. They need to get first. Right. They need the first to give to them. And yep. then they're also the Johnny Noble <laughs> sort of question mark. Yeah. So there's like essentially these picks floating around. So this goes back into my Alex Neil Bullen thing. It's John Noble. Gold Coast have picked 29. Hi, Gold Coast. Here's John Noble. Here's pick 29, whatever it's got to now. That trade, done. Yep. In no world is John Noble involved in a trade with 13. Yep. No, he's, that's a, that's, didn't finish in their top 10 in the best no. and fairest. Couldn't get into their teams when they were flying. Yep. Yeah. Every, every I team wants Johnny Noble. for their players. What are you yeah. telling you're dreaming. Yeah. yeah. You're, tell dreaming. you're dreaming. Tell, them, tell this, them they're dreaming. This also goes back to why don't Gold Coast just go to Richmond like, We'll give you 13 for Rioli and just call cool. everyone else's bluff. That still seems high. But Dan yeah. Rioli's not worth pick six. No, no, no. Rule rolls into that. The 13's it right. involved. It's just like, go, Richmond, 13. Yeah. That's anyway, what we're giving. So there you go. So the Dan Houston thing at the moment, I've now sort of basically talked myself out of the Dan Houston stakes. But that's because like, eh. Carlton aren't. Like, I'm, yeah, like Carlton are like very – st- they're doing the, we don't even want to give up. We really like our pick. It's going to be fine. So <laughs> we don't want to trade it, which is smart. It's like a loaded yeah. draft. So – Go into a draft, and when you're yeah, Carlton, good, where yeah. you look at like the age profile of this Carlton team at the moment, and that's the biggest thing with Collingwood fans to probably be concerned about, right? Like their age profile skews mm-hmm. way higher than a lot of these other teams. You bring in Dan Houston, you give up another pick or two, suddenly the cupboard is looking really, really bare yep. for Collingwood, right? Like in terms of young players coming through. Carlton, you're sitting there going, we've got the Camparelli twins, cool. We need another player of this point in that sort of, you know, that mid-first rounder just to – stock up because there's not much else there for the blues either. So yep. I'm actually fine like either way. Like I'm not gonna get too bent out of shape. Is he the sort of piece that helps you over the top? I think he certainly yeah. helps. He's an Australian level player. Get you oh, yeah. There. yeah. But the blues I still but. I don't think with that list, even if you add a few players aren't like top four or top or top two of premiership worthy. So if you're North Melbourne stats man, I, you've yeah, got pick, I am North Melbourne. You've got pick two or whatever it is. We are all North Melbourne. <laughs> yeah. How are <laughs> you splitting pick two to get Houston in? Because you're not giving up pick two for Dan Houston. No, no, I don't I don't think I'm no, you can't give up pick two. I'm trying to think of another way around to get him, but definitely do definitely you go not pick two in Houston, whatever Port's first rounder is. Do they still have their first rounder? I need to check. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what the uh what the picks are that are left, but not nice. pick two, I think. So if you go pick two and then Port, no, nah, Freeman will have that. Ah, so right. that sucks. Houston lands back in Victoria, though, you reckon? Yes. No, no. I, I Like I said, I think there's too many – Port aren't happy with what is being offered, and there's too many clubs sort of going back and forth that don't really want to offer – the big, the big bucks or the big trade. So I'm going to say seven nah. days time. I reckon he's just going to be it'll somehow be, be back at port. on Wednesday, yeah. the sixteenth of October. I reckon he's going to be yeah. back at port. And there'll be everybody. It'll be like there's a famous photo of Joe Dumas on two phones yeah. at once two for phones, the, yeah. uh, when he was like in charge of the Detroit Pistons. <laughs> That's every list manager in the. Would AFL. you give up pick two for seven and eight from St Kilda and then go here's pick eight Port Adelaide. <laughs> No, yeah, that's no. better than just pick two, but I think we need to kick pick, pick two. We need some no, like need one or two more young guys. Yeah. Just what you need. More small midfielders. Yeah. All right, that's the Dan Houston <laughs> talk. Stringer, does he land with GWS? Yeah, nah. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like Essendon don't Essendon's want it. Essendon's like, we don't So care. like whatever GWS offer, they're just going to be like, pick, all right. GWS have pick 37. But nice. They don't really need him. It's a weird one. Membry, does he stay with the Saints? Yeah, nah. Uh, yeah, just because he's not like – a superstar, not enough. I don't think enough clubs are going to be pushing for him. The D's, the D's should absolutely be on the phone. But they, they should, should, they should. Yeah, I agree with that. But like, I don't think they are in the conversation, are they? They yeah. should just. Be, yeah. Hey, we remember Tim Membry. <laughs> I remember, remember Tim, Tim Membry. Tim Membry. <laughs> uh, does Bailey Smith get to the Cats via trade, or does he walk via the draft? Or oh, I, I want to see him walk for the chaos. Ooh. Just what, be, someone else could pick him up. No, no, <laughs> because he's going to walk to the actual national draft where all the kids are. Yeah. No, and, I think they'll do a trade. Because the Cats are very it'll, desperate it'll, for a midfielder. No, when it's not the Cats that are desperate. He's out of contract. Yeah. It's, oh, on, yeah, the true, it's on the to dogs to get the deal done. True, true. And the dog's like, no, no, he's he's worth all this. And so is, you know, Caleb Daniel and Jack McRae. They are worth so much. Well, the dogs, yeah, uh, aren't budging on Caleb Daniel just yet either for North. So that's an yeah. interesting one. 
We have we have a week to go. Yeah, yeah. No one's budging at the moment. No, no, because they don't need very, to. Yeah, that's true. This is this is like why the art of the deal stats, boy. <laughs> How about you read the art of war as well? Come on, Sun Tzu. I'm um, glad I don't have to do any uh, trade deals. That's for sure. Who would we trade you for? Oh, it's gonna be good. who's the best uh, person on? Who's the on worst a, one on Marmalade? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 maybe don't answer that. <laughs> 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 Producer Gerald Lawson, <laughs> that. that was good. I would, <laughs> don't answer. There's that. always like one we weirdo in the background, and all the Marmalade ones. Like, oh, I'll take him. Yeah, uh, actually, my good. cousin that plays Place footy with him, so we'll take my cousin who doesn't talk. <laughs> all right, outside <laughs> of that, shout uh, out to Michael. Dustin Martin reckons he's happily retired. Do we believe that? Yeah, yes. nah. yeah, yeah. I'm starting to lean because the Suns even said, look. I'm not even going to push to get him. I was last week. You could ask me, Dusty's going to, but now I'm. They bit. probably went. How about it? Nah. All right, let's talk some Richmond. Shea Bolton for ten and eighteen? Question mark. <sighs> that, that is, is way too much. <laughs> Just give pick ten. Like, or eighteen. Eighteen is. Uh, is about right. I didn't realize his name was Shea Gary Ablett Junior Bolton. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's why I mean pick ten, like because he's still got three years left to run on his deal. Pick Are 10. they like, oh, he won a best and fairest? He won a best and fairest he in the worst team Dan, in the Dan, comp. That was Dan Rioli stats guy. Oh, I thought. What did you say? Shane We're Bolton. talking about. Oh, Bolton. Yeah, so My bad. Good job, stats guy. I'll we'll 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 oh, we'll get to Rioli right now. <laughs> Richmond won pick six and something else as a starting point for 27 year old Dan Rioli. <laughs> This, this just in, uh, they're off their bloody head. Sorry, I'll say my point that I was trying to say Go before now. The fact that Richmond are asking for that much is their theory like, oh, he's the best and fairest winner. They they literally finished last in the comp. A lot of other players could have won best and fairest at Richmond. Yeah, that's that's a joke. That's that's just horrible. That's the pick 13. It's like, shut up, Richmond. It's pick 13. Yep. Yeah. Even I love it. Like, it's Richard. Dan Rioli. Because if Dan Houston is being muted for that pick 13. You're muted now yeah. for saying mu muted rather yeah. than muted. Well, you always muted. say muted. Yeah. Well, it's muted. Yeah. Not it, muted. yeah. Uh, <laughs> but if Dan, Re if Dan, Dan Rioli is giving up for pick six against two-time All-Australian Dan Houston, who's clearly got a lot yeah. more left in the tank than Rioli. Like, what are we doing here? It's I know both of them have got contracts, but Jesus Christ. We are, again, still a week out. But it is great because this it means that Ralphie can write articles like, Richmond could have the greatest draft hall in the history of the bloody game. And They've like, already got – You're not wrong. They're on track for like yeah. – was it six picks in the top 24? Six in the 25. That's and it's like Unbelievable they've got, they've got pick one at the moment. Yeah. yeah. So it could be a lot more. It could be very fun. I'm all about that because I'm like – as we'll, get, we'll talk about later, but Richmond just need to burn this down to the ground and I'm – That's why they just got pick that and, yep, sweet, see ya. Get some more drafts. Yeah. yeah draft picks. Uh, outside of this, so – like Are there any other moves for Richmond that you can sort of see? Well, you still got Baker. Well, Baker's size Baker's still up and yet, yeah, yeah, true. Everyone's to, uh, sort of in West Coast. Coast. That's an impasse, Baker is pick 26. That is pick 26. Yeah. He, again, he's out of contract West Coast. None of this rubbish where you want to include, uh, what is it, their earlier <laughs> pick that's involved. Just shake hands, get the deal done, move on, see you later. Yep. Oh, nice. the, the Hawthorne pick, which is 14, the Barras pick. Keep pick 14, West Coast. You need it more. They need some, yeah, good players. 100%. Good draft. So, yeah, Barras going to Hawthorne is still, like, up in the air as well, right? Now, that yeah. that one feels like it's, ah, uh, pick 14, yep. Yep. Sweet. Yeah, it'll happen probably later on. Because we've got, what, Barras. Uh, there's also one, like, obviously, you've got Jack McRae, which is sort of still up in the air as well from the dogs. Because the dogs are like, Daniel. nah, man, we really rate Jack McRae. Caleb, same as Caleb Daniel. This Port time. Adelaide uh, and Soldo. Soldo. Back to the Saints. Soldo, like, oh, yeah, he'd be the number one Ruckman. He's so, playing against one of the best Ruckman role Surely Ivan Soldo is. He's an idiot. What a, what a, I don't understand what his theory is here. Uh, St. Kilda like got, said, it's because his girlfriend moved back. Yeah, St. Kilda got picked 27 and 47. Which one of them is Ivan Soldo and why is it 47? 47, because yeah. he's not. Uh, and Luke Parker, obviously, to North is the other sort of one that. Ooh. Pick 25, stats boy. 60, really 25. something would be nice. No way. On top of that, though, so Lukosius to Port Joe Richards requesting a trade to Port Adelaide. I uh, really like that one. So what a port giving up for Lukosius? So that because it's almost like they're waiting on the Houston picks to come through because it's like, oh, if we get pick 13, oh, right, oh, there you go, Gold Coast, Jack Lukosius. Yeah. I but you're I turning Dan Houston into Jack Lukosius. Doesn't feel right, mm, does it? But in terms of, well, I was going to say what they need, but they still need a bit of drive half back. They need a forward they can kick but 30 what, what are goals. they going to do for Joe Richards? They have pick 39. Mm. Sure. James Peeling requesting a trade to Adelaide as well. Yep. That's fine. Why would you go to Adelaide? No, they're building something. I know oh, I said this last year. Up, it must be the off-season if I'm talking up Adelaide. But if you look at their list, once they've got coming, who else did they get? Uh, going. Uh, <laughs> uh, Neil Bullen. Their list on paper is going to look really good. I'm not going to say top four because that was ridiculous last year. But, but Peeling, like, Adelaide winning the you know, request services mm. uh, is pretty interesting. And like I'm all for it if you're the crom. Uh, Matt Owies. 
This was a fun story that popped <laughs> off. Do you reckon he's worth 700K a year, Stats Boy? Absolutely not. It was 700 to 800, but... It then, might not have been true. The manager came out and said, that is unfounded, absolutely not true. Uh, Tom Morris was like, oh, I don't trust many managers, but oh, I trust this manager. And it's like, all right, go out. Wait, out the they offer, they and ask for um, 699000 ah. maybe, that, maybe that's why. Not so uh, but the thing is, it sort of means that Owies is basically just going to walk at some point mm. and like to where though? That's kind of the thing. A this feels of, like Xavier Richards 10 years ago for the Swans. Oh, I'm worth more than this. The Swans like, Okay. Obviously, Bruce. North. Um, I, I want him at North as a North fan. We need a small forward that can kick. I'll pay that. Because he kicked 30 goals. People are forgetting. 32 goals. You, there's not many small forwards that kick 30 goals. Yeah, but again, well, he's. I'm not saying he's, he's out of contract. Can yeah. he just walk? There's and also a reason why Carlton are like. Yeah. Yeah. He kicked a, he kicked your second most Carlton, goals. Carlton sitting there going, we've got Jesse Motlop, we've got, got Ashton yeah. Moyer. We've got a bunch. We've got Jack Savannah coming back in yeah. that forward line as well. Jesse um, Motlop is the uh, thing for Carlton. If he can be a good player, which I still think he yeah, can he just be wasn't solid. Healthy this year wasn't healthy. Yet, so. If he can be a good player, then they'll be like, ah, don't worry about it. Sitting with Carlton, Matt Kennedy, Cal uh, Twyman was tweeting out today. No takers emerged, and Lewis Young. They both look like they could actually even return to Carlton. I love that. I love Matt Kennedy. Just yeah. to do everything kind of dude. Solid, Lewis Young, yeah. Matt Kennedy really is a good dude. Yep. All about the How Matt Kennedy vibes. Went to school with him. Oh, there you go. I didn't have that supposed to know. <laughs> and then finally, so this is the best. The Caleb Daniel, yes, Jack McRae situation, and just the dogs. What happens now? Because the dogs are like, as you said, Alex, just like nah, we don't, we don't, we don't do anything. It's like nah, you got to do something. <laughs> what did that sound? That's like that Sesame Street yeah. character. Yeah. 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 That's like the weird dude from uh, early <laughs> seasons, it. King of the Hill. Yeah. Uh, and also like um Boom yeah. Boom no, no, no. It's like the, there's like I think actually weirdly enough, I think his name was Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> it's like he's the one who hires Bobby at the race car track. Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I crushed the cans. Yeah, that's good. Um But it's just, they just seem to be going, no, 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 we're playing hardball, we're playing hardball, hardball, hardball. And it might just shoot they, they the hardball might be getting a cannon. Pointing it at their own foot and just lighting yeah, the flu, yeah. the fuse, and it blowing their. Because it's bevoed. They're, yeah. they're, they're getting bevoed. They're bevoing they're, themselves. They're bevoing themselves in trade week. It yep. feels like the most. Even though people say, it. "Oh, they're playing hard to get with these players," every team would do the same. Most 100%. teams would do the same thing. So nah, yeah. they'll crack. So, in terms of like, I guess the other names out there, and this is where I'm like, "Hey, stats boy, we need five players <laughs> that need to be traded." He's I misunderstood like, the assignment. Jack here. McRae. It's like, <laughs> Yes. Yeah. yeah. I just meant need to be traded. Wants to be out. Wants of to be out. Shay Bolton. Yeah. Oh, really, stats man? <laughs> Luke Parker. You mean the guy that everyone wants to trade? I had between? some reasons. The guy though. that has a media release saying he wants to trade. <laughs> oh, the guy out. that doesn't like Sydney anymore. Caleb Daniel. Oh, boo. And then the one that did. I oh, go all right. Sam DeConing. That's fine. That's yep. an interesting. That's one, a yeah. great one. Yeah. Because he can and help then you a also lot of teams. Clayton Oliver. It's like yeah, yeah. They should all be traded. Doesn't want to go to Cranbourne anymore. But McRae on the Saints. Does that help them? Do they get that done? It's just another it mid them, player to a mid No, nah, he's team. a good player still. Uh, if he was a good player, I, he'd be in their team every week. They will get it done because McRae is a, a good player that can should be playing every week. I don't get how he's not playing. He's that's a handy cool. contributor to that Saints team that probably he's lost uses. lost his speed. That's the problem. But he can get it quick. Speed. His handball is You know where he does get like playing? Things. Marvel. Marvel. Yeah, he's good at Marvel. Yeah. Love that. Bolton, that gets done. Yeah. Yeah. Luke Parker. Unless Chad Warner's like... Chad was not until next year. Okay. Yeah, but if he goes, yeah, I want to go, and Swan's like, well, we're going to maximize this now. How, how many days are you going to be crying if Chad Warner leaves? Well, the Swans, Swans, will, get the the, the Swans will get the three picks, so oh. sure. Like, I'm resigned to losing Chad Warner already. Okay, Luke okay. Parker, yeah, that's two north, that's done, basically. Yeah. Apparently. It is do done. It. It's, it's, it's still done. It. Do it, you cowards. Caleb Daniel, does that get done? Yes. Yeah, yeah it sounds like it, because, again, he just he's a good player that deserves to be playing, I think. And so when you wrote out your five players that need to be traded and you went with the most beige, these are all actually being well, traded. No, they're not all of them. Board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my initial response was, oh, duh, stats boy, what are you doing? You're dumb. That's dumb. Stop being dumb. 
I'm like, that's just what I like the Sam DeConing one. I try to teach you so many things. No, you just to be a imaginative. Uh, just you, to be imaginative. You did the most it's a trade text. show. It's a week before anything actually happens. Be imaginative right, stats right. boys. Well then you've gone imaginative. So right. I went, right. The big dog has to do it in by himself. <laughs> that's your Let's job. Go, bro. come on. Number one, Christian Petrarca needs to be traded. Yeah, I agree. Do it now before it gets too weird and too painful. If you're St. Kilda, St. Kilda fans, if you're watching, would you give up seven and eight for Petrarca? I would give up half of Marabin for Petrarca. <laughs> <laughs> I get all of Marabin. There's not what's in yeah, Marabin. Not there. it's yeah. Marabin. Hey, do you want some more mixed use like warehousing? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about anyone from Marabin, but I'm giving up all the of them. The new training facility is nice. Petrarca needs to go. He needs to be traded. Pick he, seven and eight. Get it done. Pack her up, boys. We are done. I love you, Christian Petrarca, but you need a fresh start. That Melbourne situation is an absolute mess. Harry McFly! Really? He's right there, Jim. I love him. What do you, what do you mean he needs then to be Then they traded? could use that pick eight that D's have and go, here you go for Harry McKay. No, I think that's really dumb. If, you're turning, good, Christian, good if you're turning Christian Petrarca into Harry McKay in two first-round draft picks, you are He's laughing. He's not going to I, 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 Maybe. Just say it. It could happen. Maybe. He 49 goals. That's, that's, dumb. that's dumb. I love Harry McKay, but talking about needs to be traded, you know who you could trade him for? Sam DeCarney, let's bloody go! <laughs> Come on! I'm going to get all the t- all the DKs together. It's going to be D- Donkey Kong as well. <laughs> it's going to be sick. Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong. Yeah. The other Kongs? King. Cranky Kong? King. Uh, a, yeah, King, <laughs> Kong. King, King Kong. Anyway, uh, Harry Mackay, look... <clears throat> I think if you're going to throw someone like Sam DeConey out there, ah, that's if you're the, just kicking the tires, Harry, I love you. I want him to stay. Doesn't sound like it. I want him to stay. <laughs> but if we're throwing up imaginative names that need to be traded, let's see something happen. Oh, okay. Speaking of which, LDU. No, he's right there as well. We're just trading. We're trading any, the whole any list. Of the <laughs> Uh, uh, I did actually think about Oscar Allen. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think, I think he, he's, he's the only one that's safe. Because yeah. <laughs> he's a Sydney, a New, New South Wales boy in Sydney. LDU is already making noises. Yeah, so he's already said, if we suck next year, I'm leaving. So I, if We're I'm, not going to start. We're going to win the flag. If I'm North Melbourne, and Ugh. I've already said that I am, uh, <laughs> I'm already, you know, basically, look, if you're going to give me a percentage of how much I'm, like, basically smarter than Clarko, we're already at 85%. But LDU um, has already made the noise like, oh, I mean, we're not any good like next year. I won't just go anywhere. I don't want an extension. And you're like, well, then you're black. What can we get for LDU right now? Let's have a Surely set. we could get a look. That's the only thing positive being an orphan. I really, really don't want to get rid of him because he can win a game off his own boot. That but might not be your choice if he's out of contract. That is he well. can win off a game off his I, own boot. You've won five games in the last two years? Yeah, they're all, they're six, all off his six, own boot. Him or Lucky. How old are you? I he even, did, did he win off his own boot? I don't know. Probably oh, not. Okay. Interesting. He got as close off his Actually, own boot. Actually, in fairness, he was six votes from uh, six votes in the first two rounds in 2023. Nice. Yeah, yeah. great. In his prime. <laughs> nah, I... I I'm trying to even the fact that you're talking about LDU is just yeah, rattled my He's brain. He's literally said it yesterday. <laughs> That's the entire point stats. I know it's good. It's this good. is why it's imaginative. This but gets you be... thinking. This gets the grey <laughs> stuff moving. I tell you what, it, it is. gets the people going. Let's go, LDU. Tom Lynch. Yeah, that's again. The D should be on the phone. But what are they going to give for him? A how packet is of chips? Melbourne not just gone? Can we pay him? Like we'll just we'll yeah, cut off everything. That. Just just get it. We need Tom Lynch. But then it own. could just backfire massively and get injured in the Melbourne. What is Tom Lynch going to do on Richmond next year? Yeah, nothing. except for fake an injury, <laughs> <laughs> and just cash checks. Fake an injury. Like, <laughs> he's on like one point <laughs> next year. It's amazing. Uh, we just need Tom Lynch on a different team. That's the biggest problem. Like is that cap hit, and he's just like, oh, no one can do that. But I kind of love it. He just needs to be in a different team. Yeah. He just can't be on the Tigers next year. I right. mean, if he's at the D's, it means you've just got to go up the road. Yeah, true. And then finally, Elliot Yo. I said this signed, 12 months ago. Exactly. He signed an extension he's back. in the middle of the year. But there, like, what is he achieving still being on this West Coast Eagles? Helping, yeah. He's hanging out with Harley Reid and bringing him through. That's he loves a bit of McGovern, apparently. What is he, 31? It's like, yeah. He had a chance to go to... I think, I think so. so. Yeah, he is. He is. It's yeah. just weird. Yeah, well, that, that'd be why, because he's from Perth. He's staying there. He got an extension. Bit of right. We're going to replace the yo because Chad Chunley Warner. Yeah. <laughs> there is a player who's like, you know what? I'm sick of losing grand finals. I can't achieve anything here. Just Where's weird. he from? Actually, Send me to Freo. Freo, Freo that's right. Send me to a oh, club no, that's never no won a flag. Winner. <laughs> <laughs> no good winner like Freo. Well, they haven't. Yeah, actually, no, they have, they've lost one. Uh, but yeah, I love this one. Though. Chad Chunley Warner on the trade block. Let's do it. <laughs> Woo! Come on, Freo. Put your money where your mouth is. What are you going to send back? The three picks. Three. That's a lot. Three of picks. picks. Three. I don't know. How I know what you're like saying. For twenty-three-year-old Chad Warner, half the world's oldest nineteenth-century seaport. Yep. That's what a Freo yeah. has. Freo has. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. I've been there. I've you can't. You can't yeah, follow along with me, yeah, boys. Come on. Don't know. I'm 
just pulled it from the top of my head. It's like, who has the world's oldest 19th century Rottnest sequel? Island? Can they give him Rottnest Island? Give him two... Are they quokers? Two quokers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two quokers. Hey, yeah, yeah. Peter's, why is Peter calling the AFL Today show? <laughs> two, two extra quokers. Yeah, so. uh, Chad Johnny Warner off to Frio. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, all right. I don't mind that. All right. And let's finish off this trade madness one with our all 18 teams. I've got it up if we trade stats it. boy. Do you want me to do you want to walk through it or do you just want to drop it in there? I'll, I'll read through it. Oh, whatever. Do you want me to do you want me to read through it? Do we want to read through it team by team and get go. and give? All right. Adelaide gets Pete Ling. They give the 2025 second round pick. Brisbane get Jack Hayes. They uh give 2025 third round pick. The Carlton get Phillips and give get sorry, give a pick 66. Oh, Collingwood gonna... gets Houston and and then they uh give Can you Noble. Read? Yeah, because he keeps interrupting. Noble, Richards, 2025, <laughs> first round pick. Essendon, they get pick eleven and pick sixty-two. They give Satis. Frio, they get Shea Bolton and give picks ten and eleven. Geelong get Bailey Smith and give pick seventeen and twenty twenty-five first round pick. Gold Coast get John Noble, Dan Rioli, 2025, third round pick. From Brisbane, and then a Lacocious and pick 13 they give. GWS oh. get a 2025 first round pick from the Pies. They give up James Peatling, Dirks, and O'Halloran. That feels like unders. That's not bad, actually. Yeah. Uh, the Hawthorne Hawkeroos get Tom Barras. They give up Ethan Phillips and pick 14. Ethan Phillips, you might remember, went to the Carlton Blues in this weird trade. Dirksen goes <laughs> to the D's. They give up pick 54. Luke Parker lands in North Melbourne. They give up pick 62. Port Radelaide, they get Jack Lukosius and Joe Richards. Not to be confused with Ed Richards. They give up Dan Houston. Ooh. Feels like not enough for Port. Nah, that's not horrible. Nah, Port needs something else coming yeah, in. Yeah, needs one extra pick. Maybe. In. Yeah. I don't mind that. The Richmond Tigers get Sata. Pick 10, pick 14, pick 26, <laughs> pick 66. They give up Jesus. Shai Bolton, Dan Rioli, Liam Baker, and pick 32. Mm. The St. Kilda Saints, they get Jack McRae, a 2025 second round pick from Radelaide. They give up Jack Hayes and pick eight. That That's is very That's so stiff. bad. <laughs> yeah. What is Leo doing? I don't really spew in my mouth, Leo. <laughs> what are you doing? That's a shocking one. 54 <laughs> goes out the door for Sydney. No, no, uh, this Luke one's Parker. get. Oh, wait, no. Parker goes out the door. They get 54 for Parker. Yeah, it's gross. In for the Wiggles. Which baker is that? Liam, Liam Baker. Baker yeah. You pick eight, Only pick one. 17 for Tom Barras and pick 26. That feels like a big win for West Coast. That's huge for West Coast. Mm. Uh, meanwhile, for the Western Bulldogs, they get pick 13, a 2025 first round pick from the Cats. And is that Xavier O'Halloran? Yeah. yeah, I don't mind that, yeah. For Bailey Smith and Jack McRae. Maybe that, because tw- the, the first round pick of the Cats could be like very late on. So Yeah, but it didn't... could be pick 17 or yeah. something. At least they're still getting two first round picks and horrible, a player. Yeah, that's not horrible. I feel like. Uh, that uh, GWS have been ripped off a little bit, as have St Kilda completely. Yeah, but like at GWS least we fit are getting all eighteen teams. GWS together. are getting one pick for three players. How did Carlton just get stuck with Ethan Phillips? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, think, stuck. I think Leo's got to the end of it and gone, oh, they can have Ethan Phillips. Yeah, Leo's like, who do I want to get rid of from Hawthorne? It's so bad. <laughs> uh, go check out the all 18 teams mega trade over on the uh, socials. Going off on Instagram. Uh, Leo posted up. IG, Twitter, it's all over there. It is very fun. And I think that is where we've landed. There's been nothing that's broken while we've been talking, has there? No, no I'll double good. check, but I don't think so. Nito Burrito. That'll do the AFL Today Show for this week. That's right. We're not going to be back this week. That's right. But we will be back for a live show next week, <clears throat> next Wednesday. Uh, that'll be fun. Yeah. Because we're going to go live while all this chaos is finally settling. We get to the end of the trade period. We go whapang, live show. Check it out. Uh, we'll be all over what? YouTube, facey, question mark, Geraldo. Yes. Yep. Uh, all the good stuff. So join in the fun, um, especially YouTube. I mean, just obviously all the live shows go off on the old YouTubes. Lots of comments. But this will be as the rubber is hitting the road and like stuff's just actually happening. So yep. we'll be reacting in, I don't know, live. I guess. It's going to be awesome. Carlton trading P Crips, and I'll be like, what's happening? I'll throw Stats Boy out a window. It'll be crazy and awesome. Like uh, <laughs> but that was a very fun one. We, I think we hit on just about everything. We had a bit of everything. Every team, and uh, we covered a lot of ground. So that is the AFL Today Show for this week. Thank you to the Ding Guy for jumping on, Alex. And Cheers. The Stats Boy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, imagination. Just need you to show something. <laughs> uh, but remember to smash the like across all the socials. See us doing lots of fun stuff and filling in more and more footy gaps throughout this offseason. 
We'll have some more little footy shorts popping off during this week as well, more trade stuff. We'll be reacting to anything that happens as well, so <laughs> keep an eye out across Facey, IGX, TikTok, YouTube, all the good stuff. Subscribe, star, like all of our shows across all of your podcast apps as well. What is it? The Cricket Today podcast, the Football Today podcast, AFLW Today. If you're watching this, please go check out AFLW Today. We are basically halfway through the season right now. Mm -hmm. Guest from St Kilda on Thursday show, which we preview whatever week we're upcoming to because everyone's playing like a thousand games at the moment. It's all convoluted, but the season's awesome and potentially Montana Ham next week from the Sydney yeah, Swans. Superstar. Nice. Young, young, young superstar. NBA Australia is also back as well, and NFL Australia is flying, and hold all tickets, has the GGs covered. Uh, get around all of them, like, I don't know, uh, Richmond and Ralphie getting around the biggest tr draft head in the history of footy. Let's go. And that's it. We'll catch you next week for more AFL Today. Until then, look after yourselves, and remember, frothing over footy is back.